An amazing Amazon, the trailblazing story of a lady with numerous laurels, Nekme Blessing or Basugi. My name is Nekme Obasoge. I'm from the ancient city of Benin, located in the southern region of Nigeria. I've been in Canada for the past 13 years. A young girl growing up in Benin in a large family in the historic Oliha quarters of Benin City, but with a burning hope of a brighter tomorrow, even if in the skies. Her mother, Janet Esiliba, a struggling mother with much love in her heart, who either through culture or circumstances was skeptical about the prospects of female education. But Nekman's father, an educated Benin man, Roland Obasogye, believed in the potential of Nekwe at a critical age. Her father saw light in her that many could not comprehend when she was very young. This led him to bestow her with the name Blessing when she was about 12 years old in the Benin Kingdom. Most pathetic of all, Nekwen became an orphan in her early 20s, leaving her with younger siblings to cater for. Such were the origins surrounding the now success story Nekwen Blessing Obasugye. No one would believe the hurdles and emotional challenges she had to endure to overcome and become what she is today. An author of a brand new 2021 book, Great Benin, the Alcazar of Post-Colonial Culture and its Relationship with the Europeans since 1400 AD, the current Assistant Secretary, Nigeria Canadian Association in the Greater Toronto Area and Environ, a recipient of the Toronto Police Service Black History Month Award in 2020, a mention and recognition as one of the prominent women in Benin Kingdom in a book titled Ancient Heroines and Modern Women in Benin Kingdom. Just two months after, she published her first book, The Association of Nigerian Authors, a Doste chapter bestowed her with an honorarium pen award for publishing such an historical book in diaspora. These include many other awards she has received in Canada and Nigeria for her fascinating work. All these awards in a span of 13 years. Arriving in Canada in 2008, 13 years later, she is on everybody's lips. In September 25th, 2021, she launched her book, Great Benin, the Alcazar of Postcolonial Culture, online in Toronto. The second session of the book launch was hosted in California in the United States on November 27th, 2021. The book titled Great Benin, the Alcazar of Postcolonial Culture, and its relationship with the Europeans since 1400 AD is actually my first book. What has been her motivation? It was the inspirational and guidance words her late dad passed on to her soul, stressing every time that education is the tool for success and breakthrough in life, the way out of doom. Dispirited at the demise of her father in 1994, it was like her world came crashing down and there would be no one to provide that educational lever to see her through life. But she was never going to give up. Her father's words kept ringing in her mind and that became the inner message that fired her up and saw her climbing the educational ladder years after leaving Ihogwe Secondary School, Benin City, in 1994. Nekwem Blessing of Basugi arrived in Montreal, Canada, in circumstances only she can tell the intimate story. Well, upon arriving in Canada, she took a decisive step to adapt to a Canadian and educational life. She had to repeat her high school education, not minding that she was in her 30s. Today, she has two first degrees, one in sociology and a second one in law and society a master's degree in social work, and to boot, a certificate in refugee and migration studies, and currently working towards achieving her PhD. Who knows what else she could want to read next? 
In any case, her second book is in the offing to be published in 2022. So many things could be said about this amazing and energetic Amazon from the ancient city of Benin. Her fascinating inspirations and enthusiasm for invention propelled her to take such a difficult task upon herself to write a book based on the relationship between the Europeans and Benin Kingdom. Most Benin historical books have all been written by the men. It is outstanding that as a woman, she is passionate to draw inspiration from her childhood memories and upbringing in Benin City to propagate the history and culture of the Benins before a global audience. Retelling ancient history from our own unique perspectives, she is often referred to as a pride of the Benin Kingdom in the diaspora and the cultural exponent of no mean repute. Her book launch in September 25th was historical, as our friends, family and the Benin people stormed the event, not only to support her, but also to honor her with some inspiration comments and sonorous songs of encomium for her outstanding achievements. This song is dedicated to Nekbe Obasogi for your great achievements on your uh, book. I really, really, really give you kudos. Like I said before, it takes even quadruple effort for any one of our nature to come onto this, um, up to this, you know, platform. You set a pace and others will follow. Thank you, Nekme. It's been a pleasure knowing you and being your friend. Enjoy. Sit back and enjoy. Wagya Yeru Sway Wagya Yeru Sway Nekme no enekbe o Gya Yeru Sway Wa doge doge o Oma o doge 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 o Oma o doge Wa doge se no sa u no ma o je ne Oma o doge o Doge doge Oma o doge Nekme, I just want to say that thank you so much for allowing God to fulfill his promises through you. I just want to applaud you for picking up the courage to bring in a book that my children's children will read and know about where I come from. Flying a flag like this about Bini will keep Africa going. Nekme Obasuki, I'm so proud of you. You are humble, you're fun, you're friendly, you're hardworking, and you are just, I don't know, you're just full of great ideas. And I know this is just the beginning, and I'm very, very proud of you. Her passion for community service started when she was in York University in Toronto, Canada, for her graduate and postgraduate studies. She was known to be passionate about ethnic minority groups and the little publicity they get. The passion and enthusiasm she brought to bear in those activities led to her upgrading the communication output into Nebo TV, an online television, and Nebo TV magazine, an online journal which focuses in the main on talents and issues affecting Africans and immigrants in the Western society. In fact, her blog on such issues once got published in a USA-based magazine, Bronze Page Magazine. I am a custodian of the Benin history and culture in diaspora. My interest for the Benin history started in 2016 when I visited the Oba Palace in Benin City to interview Chief Omo Saigi Uptetenegebi, the Oba Dolagui of the Benin Kido. That very first program titled Okuku Herdo actually changed the objective of Nebo TV. I would like to thank all my fans, my followers, my family members, the Nigerian community, my Edo people. I thank you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for the support I've been receiving from the public over these years. Without you guys, I won't be where I am today. I want everybody to stay tuned for my next historical book. It's going to be epic.
Thank you.